beautiful. It has just been a hot, stinking minute. I am about sick and tired of going to my YouTube channel and seeing that my latest video was posted three months ago. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel again. It's been a minute and I'm back again. Hopefully I'm back and I'm better for the win. Hey, <laughs> I was about to get corny right there so I had to cut that off. But yo, I'm so excited. I'm amping myself up because I have been doing um, the days of the year style outfits of the days. I don't know how to say that. So like I'm on day 17 today. I have to do that today. Um, I'm amping myself up for that content today, but I have been faithful and at it for, um, since the beginning of the year, since day one. So I'm really excited that I have been able to push through that regardless of how I've been feeling. Um, and I've been authentic about that and my not content. following me, please go on ahead and follow me at The Body of Thrift on all platforms. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on TikTok, you can find me on Pinterest, you can find me on my websites, you can find me here, <laughs> here, there, near, far, wherever you are. Please do follow me over there and join along with me to see my everyday style, okay? So like my style, my style is ever evolving and I have no limit to what I can do. Like I have no limit to uh, my ability to be different. I have no limit to be myself, you know? Like it's just the sky is the limit and I am just pushing through, so I'm really thankful for that. And I appreciate um, all the love and feedback. I really do appreciate. I have the greatest thing that has ever happened so far this year um to the body of thrift i got my first donation um which uh proceeded from one of my pop-up shops last year during the summer when i was doing the pop-up shops um throughout the entire year she hit me up and she was like hey are you still taking donations and i was like yes girl yes i'm in there it's actually going nowhere <laughs> i she gave me two trash bags full i washed both bags of clothing and then i cried whatever that's all in here so let's just get into it i figured i'd try on the pieces that i enjoyed and we start off with whatever this I lady loved i mean loved she loved black all right um i like the leggings because you, you could use that that's definitely a um a essential piece you can use all the time yeah. jennifer lopez little capris i am not a capri girl but i have been into upcycling things a lot lately so i was thinking about like cutting out pieces from this and doing a little dip don't know what but i'm gonna do a little dip <laughs> so these are definitely the pieces that i said i would try to upcycle these are like faded little leggings i don't really see myself wearing that or trying to sell that like this shirt you know it's a basic simple little arrow pastel shirt be, again, like I wouldn't be able to sell this or anything, so I figured I'd upcycle into something. Maybe I could do a little tote bag. My son likes tote bags, so I could probably, you know, kind of cut out pieces of fabric from multiple items and make some. All right, and we get into some more leggings. So clearly, you can see here she was a fan of leggings, a fan of the elasticity, perfect material for a, a tote bag, right? Because it's like thick stretch material, right? Capri's, Jennifer Lopez, all right? Same thing, same thing. Shorts are really cute. Um, appointment, apartment nine. Appointment, apartment nine. Bermuda. Very wang shorts. These are actually cute. I mean, they're definitely essential pieces that you can rock as is. Another little t-shirt. See, this is where I would like, I would look up something to see like, what could you do with a t-shirt? Probably use it as a bag, but I wouldn't maybe see something some more faded leggings another tote bag like this would be really good for a tote bag too because you can combine it with something like this and just like put it on the front flip it around scrap it a little bit make it a fringe type of material use it as scrap fabric aha uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> idea oh, i didn't even see this this uh nice little what is it like a cardigan jaw like uh i said it's like a cardigan right because it has a, yeah it has buttons too like a short sleeve cardigan that's what i would say um it's very small this would definitely be cute like a shirt it has holes in a pit so i would definitely cut that up too into the little scrap fabric scrap fabric it gave me tons of leggings some t-shirts 
She definitely told me everything was vintage, so it was a bit of a shock when I saw like Jennifer Lopez, their wing um, item. All right, some more leggings. All right, and she gave me, like she has a lot of Cartman 9 pieces, their wing, um, Simply Bear, and then Jennifer Lopez items. So this is a Apartment 9 top. And this was a part of the thing, that was just the donations that I did not really um, see myself wearing or trying to resell. So I put them. Now we're gonna get into the donations that I did enjoy. Like I really see myself wearing or selling or just cute, I like it. Um, So I'm gonna try them on. Did I put this on here? I did not. This is another one, another t-shirt that would definitely turn into scraps. Cause you could definitely like use scraps and like pen, uh, you know, sew it onto like a blazer, get an oversized blazer, and have it like fringy. That's a cute idea, or a little tote bag idea, and then like um, put the fringe scrap on the tote bag, and you have a fringy tote bag. Cute idea. Cute idea. Definitely do that. I'm loving these ideas. <laughs> This bag is the things that I absolutely love. Well, not absolutely love, but I was like, oh, that's cute. I could definitely wear that or I could try to resell it. Um, so what I'm gonna do differently here is gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna be all boring, like look, 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 look. I'm gonna try everything on and you're gonna just see it and I'll explain it as I go. So let me move everything about the way and uh, get it started. <laughs> okay, so first up, we're starting off with these velour rose pants. I really like them because of the stretch. I love pants that I can just like kind of pull up on my waist here, over the area down here, you know, that down low area, and I could voluptuate the back area, okay? Yes, honey. I'm keeping these. These are really cute. I like these. And so yeah. I'm going to try on this two-piece set. I couldn't wait. It's not vintage. These pants, however, are vintage, um, but this two-piece set is really cute. Like, she really has some cute pieces in there so I was really grateful overall regardless so <laughs> let's get into this two-piece set it is definitely giving me an okay moment all right so it is like a romper or a jumpsuit right um a spaghetti strap the top and this is separate oh you can actually wear this hold up let me check I don't know I'm done there but this is really cute I love this <clears throat> forgot what the brand said but I'm really loving this two-piece situation. I don't know if I will let this go either. So, so far, I love the rose pants in this two-piece set. Honey girl. All right. Then she had these pants. Let me see if I could style something on this look together. Um, because I really like this turtleneck. And all the other tops are also black. It's like blazers and vests. And I want to try it on these like right now but I'm getting it's getting flimsy and maybe it should be a shoulder situation okay um the pants are tight like they are just not my size this is how they are <laughs> I didn't say I could fit everything here I am thinking I will be able to squeeze my butt up into all of her clothing but it was worth the shot i like this turtleneck or off the shoulder blouse oh well, it's cute it's giving me spicy like you know i just want to wear a tight tight pant you know i just want to show a little something you will wear something like this okay as long as you wear something like this this would just be tough so like i wouldn't be able to style all the tops with another pair of pants so would be with these pants or her leggings so we should try on the leg all right <laughs> look y'all look the sleeves are getting petite but this is so cute i'm loving this bodacious collar and i'm loving that it does look like a cat suit like like i feel like all i need is a cute trench or oversized blazer <clears throat> this is actually gonna be a part of my today outfit of the day look this blazer i think i wore it i don't have one before who knows but anyway yes yes get all the way i see what would even do a sneaker with this like i'm just a sporty look oh i like that idea i might just uh 
I don't know, but this this is definitely tight. Like it's giving like a so small. Um, so I'm not feeling a hundred percent comfortable in it, but I like the idea. Okay, I like I like some black items. I'm not really one that gravitates towards black, and uh, it came to me. So when you don't gravitate towards it, somehow it finds its way to me. Yeah. Here, I don't really like them. So I'll just show you the vest, right? I might as well just show you those. Cause these are cute actually. I would wear this in like a cargo pants, a beret, a boot, maybe a booty, maybe some sneakers. For some reason, I put this in the I like bin because I felt like I could do something with it, but I don't really like sweaters like this. So I would definitely try to upcycle it in some sense. I don't even, what was this? <clears throat> yeah, my mirror is over here, so. I have not tried these clothes on. So you are definitely getting the first sighting of me trying this on. So I did not know how it would fit. Oh yes, we have a dress. <laughs> we have a spicy mama dress. Or is this? I don't know. It feels like I feel like this was like she she was she was wearing this as a dress. More blazers and leggings, I'm assuming. Yeah, some more riding pants and some shirts. So we have some sheer and I think this one ties. Cute. That one's funky. I probably like throw it on it with this. So yeah, let's be fun and throw on this sheer. I feel like she probably would have wore this together. Okay, so let, let's bring out her style and just try on. So let's pay. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just not the vision is not coming to me with this dress. I don't personally like it. I'm gonna look into the brand and then I may just upcycle this piece as well as these riding pants. Like they're really, well, I might do something here. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely do something because they're stretched out a bit at the waist. So, yeah, like this definitely won't be a dress underneath, but this is really cute. I like this. I will wear it without the, the shirt underneath or the leggings. I'll find something I can wear this with, but I will definitely have to redo the button on position because it is definitely too tight the back I'm gonna show the back that's the back of it she was spicy yeah. what else do we have um yep that's done 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 did i show you that's all we had the vest so my yep. favorite pieces overall were is this two-piece set these plaid pants um i really like the tightness of them Maybe I should just like go running some more. Maybe I'll, you know, tip back into them, won't bust out of them. Definitely love these rose pants, rose trousers. I like this nickel vest. Um, and the, the uh, off the shoulder blouse. That was real cute. You could wear that. Um, the shirt. Uh, it's, I guess it's a blazer, but I will wear this as a shirt. I actually broke the button taking it off, okay? <laughs> It was a little bit tight. kind of tight, but I like it. And then I like the leggings. The um, ones that I wore with the shirt. And then the sheer tie one, okay? The sheer front tie. That that was a dope donation. I really appreciated that because it made me feel like I'm actually doing something and my business is actually going somewhere. And the work that I'm putting in is actually paying off because people see me, people want to connect with me. And that's all that I want. So I really appreciate you guys again, as always, for showing up, showing the love on here um, and everywhere else. <laughs> this is really fun. And you stay tuned because I have a big haul. Like I wanted to combine it with this one, but that, I thought that would be a little bit too much. I wanted to give you just like that one little appreciation post to it was a lady, not a girl, um, this older lady, very lovely for donating. Thank you so much if you're watching this. I really appreciate the donation and your pieces I have are a great purpose for them and I'm gonna put them to great use. Stay tuned for the next haul. I want to get that video posted no later than the Sunday this week. Today is the 17th. So hopefully by Sunday I'll have a new one in the works and it'll be posted no later than next week because this one's got to get out of there this week. It's been real. I love you. <laughs> it's been real. I'll catch you later, beautiful. Thank you again. And please, if you like what you've seen here today, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all the other platforms at The Body of Thrift, and stay tuned for our next video, our next video. <laughs> Bye, beautiful. <laughs>